All right, man, to be honest, there's a lot of stuff that we could check in on this episode that could change things. Like, is Pedro just dead? Did he actually just blow up? I really hope not. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss, and we're back with One Piece and Whole Cake Island. And yeah, lots going down. Pedro blew up, Brooke 1v1, the big mom, and Luffy just wants to know where Sanji is. Gonna hop into this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub, and let's get started. This Count Hyoko was reborn and evolves more. Count Niwatori. How does his suit keep changing colors? Can't believe he detonated himself. He had to have had like a getaway or something. Well, yeah, he's enormous now too. He's just turning into a bigger bird. I mean, there's nothing there, but he could have literally exploded into a million pieces. He looks like a different character now. But does he preload die into the eggshell? I just, I want to know. Oh, a mirror. It blew up. Wait. Did he hop into a mirror? Yo! Oh my gosh, they pulled him in. Yo, W! Unfortunately, we are back in Mirror World, though. Horrible place. So he saw them. He was like, all right, F it. I'm just going to throw the dynamite. He's like, I'll just take out everyone and then jump in. Flew away like an action hero, bro. And now Baron has no idea. He's gonna 1v1 Baron again. It's only a matter of time. They are actually very safe. That's true, yeah. Look, not even Big Mom could come in here if she wanted to. He lit the cigarette with, like, electricity. Okay, dude. That was kind of tough. He's stuck. Bro, he's too cool. Look at him. Oh, Brooke. Oh, you have no idea, man. Chopper heard his friend was in danger and he locked in. Everyone's portrait. No way they show the mirrors the pictures of who they're looking for. Is that Luffy? Oh my, wait. Uh, I mean, Nami's is kind of accurate. Yeah, you would think Nami would be with Luffy, but she's not because he ran away. Chopper didn't even know Jimmy was here. There's a lot of moving parts, yeah. Oh, he just killed his brother. Okay, I won't say killed. Knocked out. Is that better? Luffy, Luffy. Brother, come on. They're wearing completely different clothes. Yo, that shape went kind of crazy, though. Yo! He fast. Eighth son. He's pretty old. He wasn't lying. He's insanely fast. Like, that was a second gear jet bullet. And he wasn't even close to him. Now, granted, Luffy is also still insanely tired and expended his energy. <laughs> yeah, what do, like, non-hockey users do when something like this happens? You just stand there and watch. That's all you can do, dog. Man, this kind of reminds me of Don Chin Zhao. Just a big dude with hockey. I miss that guy. I hope he's doing okay. This guy's not breaking a sweat. Oh no. Bro, Luffy, just stay with Jinbei and Nami, man. I know that's not how he is, but damn! Oh wait, he's actually choking him out. Somebody's actually gonna have to save him. How long can you make a balloon stretching sound effect? Oh my God. Him saying mean things about Sanji's gonna empower Luffy. Yeah, classic. Absolute Luffy classic. I can't, bro. I think he's gonna keep going. Actually, no, he'll be mad enough at him. Oh, no. Nah. Yo. <laughs> Damn. That's all it took, man. Spun up Hawk Rifle. And on he goes. He made a fatal error. Talked bad about his friend. I can't believe it. Kabbalet has been defeated. Well, there's seven older siblings, so. I mean, we met the oldest. What's his name? Prospero. Or Perospero. He's gonna come into play. They're so glad he didn't face them. <laughs> He's like, wait! And the third general has to come into play eventually. Cracker's out of commission, but Smoothie's in play. Who's he running into next? Okay, he's got to find a kitchen. Oh, no, he said he wouldn't eat anything besides Sanji's food. Sanji! I mean, what are the odds he actually finds Sanji in this enormous place? Wait. 
Hold up. Oh, this said third floor. Oh, wait, we did see the diagram. They are kind of close. I don't know. Maybe you'll get lucky. What are the points of the benches in these hallways? Who's using these? Wait, what if he sees Sanji? Sanji gives him this basket of food. It was meant for Luffy all along. Well, at least now he knows the bracelets aren't that big of a deal. That's kind of huge, actually. God, it's kind of weird seeing, like, <laughs> Zoro and Robin. Oh, they are so far away. It's like the lower the floor, like the darker it seems, and like the higher up it gets brighter. I would feel so safe on top of Jinbei. Like Jinbei, that, that is kind of overkill for these guys. I'm just saying. Those are random grunts. Come to think of it, I don't know if, I don't think Jinbei has a devil fruit. I think he just uses karate and has strong hockey. There he is. Yeah, what are you going to do against Jinbei, bro? I mean, I picture his skin being, like, tough as a rock. And he's probably still susceptible to bullets. That barrel has a face! Oh, wait, the mirrors! Wait! Wait! Oh, shoot! Oh, my gosh, she hit Chopper. Oh, my goodness gracious. Imagine she killed Chopper there. She did the face. Bro, they love using that face now. Dude, I can't get over how good this fit is. I'm not, like, the, the overalls go crazy. We're here to save you. Wait, we can all go together now. If Luffy were here, we'd basically all be back together. Almost. The sound of Chopper sizzling is still going on in the background. He doesn't think Sanji knows about pudding. Oh, what? Raise you, raise you. That's the room! Yes! Oh, that's big. And Reiju's already met Luffy, so she knows how Luffy is. She probably knows how to talk to him, too. <laughs> Let's just tr keep trying the door. <laughs> he just gave up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Pudding was falling us. Yeah, I know. I know. Aw, he like instantly asked. That was nice. Luffy go all the way back to Baratie to fight for them. Dude, I swear the basket. Sanji's gonna give him the basket of food. He's, he wants so bad to say yes. The smiles instantly back. Where, where's he going? Go to the halls. Oh my god, no way he's going back to the field. No way. This head ass. I can't, bro. I love him. He's at the rendezvous point. This dumbass man. Nothing. I thought he was going to hear it for a second. All right, back to the rendezvous. <laughs> it's so stupid. That was the, he has the option to make Jerma the his sacrifice, basically. Mm. So he's still definitely going to be at the wedding, but like, what role will he play? Because he knows that basically all like, the Vince smokes will be targeted and killed. But did he pass out on the way down? Oh no, he's, he's just gotta land eventually. The future king of the pirates just landed on your house, sir. And back he goes to the field. I mean, at least he's not gonna be in the chateau, but like bro's gonna starve. Look at him! I really thought he was gonna run into him and he was gonna eat the basket of food. But at what point will Luffy eat? <laughs> stop, intruder! I'm sorry, these two little chess pieces are gonna stop him. Not gonna lie, a part of me thought he would go back eventually, but I was honestly kind of beyond that at like five or six episodes ago. I actually cannot believe he's going back. 822. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of you right here, bro. It's a glaive like white beard. These two chess pieces, man. Oh, he's not even gonna hurt him. He just wants to go back to the rendezvous. Dude, this is honestly insane, though. Like, a test. Food all around him, he will not eat unless it's Sanji's. I don't even think about it like that. Okay, dude. No way they toppled the building. I guess he is wanted. Like, someone had a mortgage on that snow cone, man. He'll actually tear them into two pieces. Or a million pieces. Oh, no, they're dead. <laughs> oh, Brulee woke up. 
<laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do, tattle? I'm scared by the roulette, so he stayed. Uh, why couldn't they have just shown us that? Because he did spin it. But his partner spun the roulette. That was how he died. I thought he died from Baron. So his friend did spin the wheel and died. <laughs> Stop explaining. This is such a funny crew, bro. All five of these goobers together. Bro, leave Brooke alone, man. That's still crazy. He's putting a band-aid on. I can't believe he cut Prometheus. It's insane. Yeah, for real. No one's ever hurt them? Bro. Is she in love with Brooke? Nah, she just likes adding to her collection. I just realized the cloud, like Zeus was the cloud that they're sitting on. Brooke, you're so out of the loop, man. Ah, to be Brooke, man. Big Mom has no idea. Pudding has no idea. After the wedding, she plans to kill them. Bar girls to everyone in Jerma? Mm. <laughs> I didn't kill her. I just shot her. Yeah, too bad she didn't know someone was right outside her window. <laughs> we all did, Brooke. Why would she try to get revenge if she didn't have her memories? I mean, I have no doubt that Big Mom being an emperor and having her army could take out Jerma. Like, I would bet money. Gunfire would be the cue for everything. She fires the opening shot. But she says she's opening the box first. And that means I'll hold it. We're starting a musical number. I, I just got the vibe. With his goofy face. But she's not going to shoot Sanji. <laughs> Brooke's like, I gotta tell everyone! Oh, she is supposed to kill Sanji. Ah, that's right, because she doesn't even want an alliance with, with like, Jerma or, like, the Vinspo. She wants to kill them all so she can take Jerma and take, like, the scientific tools and all that. And the cloning machine and the army. Her shot to Sanji is just supposed to be the opening of, like, the war between them. Yeah, because they're... The Vinsmokes are in enemy territory, basically. It's gonna be insane, bro. Everything's going down. That's, like, the, that, that's gonna be the complete climax of the arc. And they've set up so much. I just hope Raju's okay at the end of things, man. She's smart, though. She is smart. Oh, shoot. The night is like, it's, I was going to say like, the next day is really important, but now he's like actually sleeping. Like, it's the next night. It's like deep into the night. Actually, I don't think Sanji's... Would he be able to sleep? I feel like he wouldn't be able to. He'd be like too anxious. Oh, yeah. Wait, he has the guard sleeping. No. Nah. The eggplant guy. Bro, just tuckered out in Sanji's bed. <laughs> I love this. Well, might as well just sleep more. I love that guy. Oh, oh. oh shoot. There's a whole ass meeting between the family. This guy's voice is so sick. Don't touch. They probably think Pedro's dead. Yeah, they do. They let Luffy and Nami get away. Big Mom's gonna be pissed. Come man knows. Come boy is well aware. And he's sitting right there. Where is he? Cut to him. Only one of us was there. <laughs> the cut to his face. Oh. Wait. No one has come. Wait, why would he lie? He's embarrassed. He doesn't want to get in trouble. He said he killed them? Wait, Opera's trolling! 
Sweating goo. Dang, bro. He knows he'll be killed. Wait, why is that Loki sad? He's saying Luffy's dead and Nami's dead. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, no problem. Clueless. Bro, Opera's gonna be a deep shit, man. I'm just gonna walk out and like Nami's just standing there. Oh, wait. Oh, he knows that he's lying. Yo, Mondor kind of cracked, man. For not having like a high position. Like, he's just one of the Charlotte family. He's kind of very smart. For not being super important, I feel like. Like he's not a, a general or anything. Also, his powers are crazy. Bro. Luffy's like barely taking down these chess pieces, man. Not barely, but you know what I mean. Like he actually fell against two chess pieces. Oh, is it more of the family? Hey, this big boy look kind of creepy. I think they are Charlotte family. Bro's surrounded by just the most trash soldiers in the world. It is a unique way to nerf Luffy. I know it must be really hard to nerf him in, in a lot of circumstances. I get it. And like I said, the, the juxtaposition of there being food everywhere is kind of cool. Like he's missing them. Chess pieces! Wait, bro actually just rolls up into a ball? Oh, no, nah, man. <laughs> oh, it's like every piece is inspired by the straw hats. No. No. Oh, my God, it's so sad. Luffy getting no dip my chest pieces. Nah, bro. Nobody can ever find out. Nobody can ever find out about this. Guys, my MC is better, I promise. Imagine he just like crushes them in his hands. I mean, technically, wouldn't he be freeing the souls? You know, reason for murder. He's just launching himself. <laughs> Damn! Go, Luffy, go! He can't even lick any of the syrup that's encasing his body. It's not Sanji's syrup. Oh, no, he's getting cut up. This guy is just, like, cosplaying a bunny rabbit, man. Okay, so he just died. I'm sorry, a hockey four, like a headbutt, actually just crushed his skull in. He just murdered that man. I mean, I'm not blaming him, but I'm just putting it out there. Since deaths aren't usually like that straight up, that was definitely a murder. That was a definite kill. KIA, confirmed. And off he goes. Dude, the basket is meant for him. But he's not gonna go to Luffy and give him the basket. He has to though. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's not for you, dickhead. He's remembering he said I'll be here. And him holding the piece of meat. And he knows Luffy would be serious. Yes! It's Luffy's! Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Go to him, Sanji! Take it to him! You know he's there! Wait, he's going. Wait! His body's moving on its own! I knew he had to, man. I knew he had to. And closer we grow to the, the destined day, bro. That day being the wedding day where it all goes down. I don't think we're even gonna see, like, the Vinsmoke family until tomorrow. Because they said that like, they're, like, keeping them busy, basically, and that Reiju was the only one meddling. But, man, am I hyped to see everything that happens. I think we need to re regroup and recuperate. But if Sanji actually does go to Luffy, I wonder if he'll stay like near him or if he'll still push himself away because he said what am i doing like it's just his body moving on its own and i'm thinking that it's gonna be more just like a cut and go delivery and and it's gonna give luffy hope that there is a chance to bring sanji back i mean ever since i found out about the bracelets not actually being the real ones that reiju swapped them out i feel a million times better but still now i worry about her and i think he will genuinely stay just for her and i hope he does i would hope that the one person in his family that's cared about him all his life 
leave, he wouldn't turn his back on her like, whenever she needs him. Even if she says to go. Because she's telling him to go now because she's selfless, putting him, him in front of herself. But bro, opera trolling is so funny for no reason. He's genuinely just scared of Big Mom and I don't blame him. And I like the dynamic of Mondor not being like an idiot and, and kind of seeing through it and understanding what happened. It gives you more sense of, of a reason to be scared of like the Charlotte family whenever they're more, more cunning than that. Yeah, there's kind of dumb ones like Opera, but whenever there's cunning, you know, insightful ones like Mondor, you're a bit more on your toes about what they could be planning or uh, getting ahead on. But guys, that's been it for my reaction to One Piece today. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on this one if you have not already, and I'll catch you next time. Peace, base.